Welcome to the first How to Break It video guide. My name is Steve and I like to break things. Today, however, we're going to be building an OpenVPN server using Ubuntu 18.04. I like OpenVPN, I've used it uh, on many VPN servers, including my Raspberry Pi 3 at home, just to keep me safe while out and about in town. For this project, I set up a VPS server on DigitalOcean. I chose the $5 a month option, which gets you a bare bones setup, but in reality, you don't need a lot of horsepower to make this work especially if you're only using one or two connections at a time. DigitalOcean makes it super simple to scale up if you need to do that. One drawback from using a VPS server to build your VPN is every now and again you'll find a website that blocks you from visiting it. Some servers are set up to reject requests from data center ranges of IP addresses, but that's only happened to me like once in two years, so you'll probably be fine most of the time. We'll be using a script put together by Angustan, a user on GitHub. I've used this script before to deploy a VPN quickly. It makes setup an absolute breeze. The first thing you want to do is SSH into your server. Since this is a fresh install of Ubuntu server, I haven't created an account, so we will update and do that now. To add a user, we're going to use the command add user and then your desired username. I'm going with Steve. Next, you have to give your user a password. To do that, uh, you know, do that and confirm it. You can fill in the details if you like, but it's not necessary, so I'll skip them. And of course, our new user needs pseudo privileges, so we'll use the command user mod minus little a, big G, pseudo, and then the username you chose, which of course is mine, Steve. Now we gotta log out of the server and SSH in with the new user. So we will SSH Steve or whatever user you put at and then your server IP address. Wow, here we are. Now we have to hop over to GitHub and grab the command to download the script. It's recommended to read the documentation on the GitHub page, but I'll skip that for now. Grab the top line that starts with wget and ends with openvpn-install.sh and pop that into your terminal. And would you look at that, 24 kilobytes before we can blink. Now that we have the script, we have to make sure we can execute it. So we have to mark it as executable. We'll use sudo chmod plus x, uh, openvpn-install.sh, enter your password and hit enter when you're done that. Now we run the script by using sudo dot slash openvpn dash install dot sh and pressing enter. The script has a few questions for you, but for the most part, it already has the answers. Uh, you can use, for the most part, the recommended options. This qu first question is, what's the IP address of your server? Uh, if it's not populated here, just grab it from your hosting provider. The default port is 1194, that's fine. And here we'll go ahead and choose UDP. Now which DNS provider you want to use is completely up to you. I chose Google or OpenDNS, but it's up to you. The next three questions determine how intense your encryption is going to be. The more encrypted, the more processing power it will take to encrypt and decrypt your traffic. So the recommended option is basically a meet in the middle. Um, you can choose any number of these, but for general use, you're fine with the suggested options. And of course we have to name our certificate, which we'll download to our computer later. I'll call it Kubuntu. Um, now it's gonna run through the actual setup uh, using the parameters that you gave it. And it generates the key. This is gonna take a little while, so I'll fast forward through that. Go, go gadget and we're back. Our certificate has been generated and we're good to download it. As you can see, it's being stored in our user's home directory, uh, slash home, slash Steve, slash kubuntu.ovpn. Now we have to grab that file. To do that, I'll use FileZilla. Uh, with the Ubuntu server, we have OpenSSH installed by default. It includes SFTP. So we'll enter our host IP, user, password, and port 22.
click uh, yes that you trust the host. Um, I'll put this on my local machine in my Steve directory. Uh, I'll authenticate just because of my FileZilla master password. You may not have to do that. And before install, uh, importing the key, you have to make sure you have uh, network-manager-openvpn installed. You can use sudo apt-get install network-manager-openvpn on your local machine in the terminal, and that will install the necessary prerequisites for using an OpenVPN certificate. So now we go into our system settings, we find the network manager. Uh, we click the little plus sign to add a new connection. Scroll down to the bottom, click on import from file, locate our file, click OK. And now we just have to right click on the uh, certificate name that we gave it. Uh, click connect and we should be connected to our VPS server. And congrats, now you have a work working VPN server to secure your network traffic. If we Google my IP, we can see our IP address is now reporting the same as our server. Good job folks, we didn't break anything. And if you did, let me know, how did you break it? Uh, did you fix it? Um, and uh, the first of many. Cheers.